Franklin myself. Okay. <laughs> and uh, if I text him at 1.32, he responded at 1.36. <laughs> I would love to be a part um, singing BGV with you if there are any slots available. And then he said in his own very colorful way, <laughs> it's already done. Girl, so I texted him back in July, and when I texted him, I said, I'm moving back to Dallas. Okay. Now, time passed or whatever. You know, he said everything was going to happen. He said, just give me a second. Okay. August came, and I was like, well... I'm still stepping out on faith. I mean, I'm going to church praising. Let's be clear about it. Not just praying and crying. I'm praising, praying, and crying mm. I'm, I'm for something miraculous to happen for me in my life because it's a whole bunch of stuff personally going on with me, you know. Yeah. And I just was just like, I just need something big to just really mm. change my situation. So I didn't know what it was. So August, I hit him back. He was like, Can you sing soprano? And, <laughs> and if you know me, you know, I was like, Oh, God. <laughs> the heavens honey you know. wants to be in the basement okay okay and so um i was like i mean i can sing soprano it's gonna be loud but i can get it done you know because i'm not gonna tell this man no i need the job you yes. know so i um he was like okay let me get back to you hold on real tight okay. and then weeks and weeks and weeks went by and i didn't even think about it anymore i just gave it up i, I just let it go because i just knew i couldn't really sustain no soprano life on no tour for 30 million cities no so i was like maybe he just didn't maybe he needed a soprano i couldn't do it whatever boom and um Girl, he heard that loud and so <laughs> it was had to be september the 11th which coincidentally is the anniversary of me winning sunday best september 11th of this year i'm um i went to church that sunday before because it was a monday september the 11th so the, the 10th i went to church and i remember praying and praising everything and the pastor said, if it feels like so much time is passing, that means that help is on the way. Mm. That was Sunday. Monday, I'm fixing myself some ramen noodles. I'm just not thinking about nothing. Just not thinking about nothing. And then I get a text from Ron. He, he asked me, he said, somebody dropped out today. We started rehearsals today, but can you be here tomorrow? What, are you available for these dates? Absolutely. And you're doing alto. And I'm doing alto, and I packed my bed. It's such a powerful story, and I think people don't realize this journey. You yeah, know what God I mean? God is just so good, and I just, every chance oh. I get, I have to let everybody know that, yes, I spoke it, but it wasn't nobody but God. Yes. Who put me in this position. Girl, and singing alto. And Let's not let like, go. Oh. Like, he didn't just say, he didn't just put you on a tour, but he put you on the tour comfortably. Yes. And it's just been amazing. It's been an amazing Aww. experience. The singers are amazing. We got Isaac Curry. We got Mark J.P. Hood. We got Jasmine Crumley. We got yes. Tim Bailey, We got Ariel Campbell. And it's I just love a that. Joy. I love my BGP family. I love my tour family. Everything has been really cool. Um, so are you back officially in Dallas now? Or no, not still? yet. I'm, when will you be there? This is what this tour is going to help me now, get the financials for it. I, <laughs> my God. <laughs> 